Ah. Stretchy. Amen. Praise the Lord. I ask uh, Brother Deo to please uh, a bit make the, the sound a bit louder. I know that you are in a bottle, and, but I pray that God will awaken you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, Nakuha natin. <laughs> Nakuha natin sa ni Pastor Jesse. Ah. Ale, hintay lang kayo. Ah. Hintay lang. Iyan ako lang. Magpalis lang ka ba ito? Kaya natin, Brother Gomer, di tatayo eh. Tatayo yan. Amen. Tayo pong lahat ay tumayo. Uh, then we're going to read our text this afternoon. Please open up your Bibles in uh, Galatia chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. And we are going to read this responsibly. Galatians chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. Are you there? Okay. Verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of man, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Altogether, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. We, we just want to thank you, God, for your faithfulness in our lives. We thank you, God, for the preaching of thy word this morning in Sunday school and even in the Sunday service. Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for uh, you're always faithful in our lives. And Lord, once again, we are going to study your word. Uh, let your written word be alive in our hearts. Make your words as a, a bread of, uh, as a bread of life and make our soul satisfied, O oh God, as we continue to study your word, praying that we'll be the one to bless your word. Holy Spirit, I pray that you continue to move in our lives and please use me for thy glory alone and bless your word, O oh God, bless your servant and for without you I cannot do anything. Praying that your name will be uh, lifted up in our midst. Praying, Lord, that uh, whatever you want us to uh, 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 to, to learn this afternoon may, may our hearts be open oh God for all the things that you want us to do Lord in our life praying that make uh, the words that we have read this afternoon become alive and, and we may be able to continue to live according to your will thank you Lord in Jesus name I pray Amen Amen. so uh, actually I've been I have a mixed feelings I am happy I am excited and I am also a bit nervous dahil medyo matagal po kami na na mandaga no hindi uh, rin nakapag-preach but I thank God for His faithfulness I thank God for His uh, what He's doing in our life that uh, if we are just going to allow God in our life He will be the one to teach us and He will be the one to guide us He will be the one to, uh, to make our life to be sure as we go on day by day Sometimes we miss things. That's the reason why, that's why the reason, uh, Misan, we're saying we are failure. Sometimes we are saying that, uh, Lord, I cannot do it, which is we cannot really do it without our God. But if we are just going to trust God, God will move in a way that we will be strengthened and He will be glorified in our life. Ito po yung mga bagay na minsan na dapat natin gawin sa buhay natin. Siguro I think it is for us to be awakened. Especially the things that are happening now in our surroundings, in, in, even the things that are that, that we are being that being uh, known by us in the in the news, what happening in the Philippines. I think some are some some things may make us happy, but some or it will make even us more excited for the coming of the Lord. But the problem is this. But what's that in Timothy that the the perilous time is coming, and we cannot deny that. Are we going to, uh, are we going to, uh, uh, bo- uh, what are we doing? Makikipagano ba tayo doon? Kunay ba tayo doon? Or are we, are we the one to, to stand in the truth? 
of the word of God. Minsan po, these are the things that we are to be to be aware. All of us, we are being discouraged sometimes. And we are even weak. And we are even uh, vulnerable to all the works of the enemy. And I, I just want you to know that. I just want you to see that. So here, and, and the sad thing in the things that we are going to study this afternoon, that the church of Galatia is being attacked. And you know what? The church of Galatia, or in Galatia, the churches in Galatia are being attacked, not from the outside. They are being attacked from the inside. Because of what? Because of wrong teachings. Because of wrong doctrines by the Christian Jew. What they call, the, they call this are the Christian Jew or the Judaizer. But before that, I just want to thank God and I just want to give glory and testify about the goodness of God in, in, in my life, in the life of my wife, in the life of my family. So oras I just want to give the glory to God. And uh, as you have heard, Preacher Gomer or Deacon Gomer and Deacon Jong, that they have uh, testified of what, they, what God did uh, according to uh, 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 about our uh, support. You know, been in, uh, I'm, not, I'm not actually, I've been praying for that and praying that God, if, because it's already almost, the October will, will be almost finished, matatapos na ho, and we're still waiting for it. And all of us, ito mga preacher, we, they know that, and even us, kami, kami pong dalawang mag-asawa, we are not working anymore. Teacher Joy is only doing a sub, nagsasub lang siya, and uh, we are just, we're just cooking food for the teachers, and yung po inasa namin, I, I told God, Lord, I said, if it is your will for us to continue to do your will and your ministry here in Cambodia, you have to, you have to, you have to provide. And we pray to God that uh, He will be the one to uh, move in our life. And yun nga po, uh, sabi ko, Lord, kapag uh, hindi man po dumating yung support namin by this time, I said, it's okay, Lord. Kahit wala akong matira sa amin. To be honest with you, hindi ko, hindi, I'm not bragging here. Hindi ako nagyayabang. I am telling the goodness of God if we will trust Him. I said, Lord, it's up to you. Kung kailangan lang yung, yung nasisingil namin sa, sa pag, pag, pagkain at yung sab-sab po ng asawa ko, yun ang gagamitin namin para pambayad lang ng bahay, it will be enough for the house. But the problem is this, Siguro, Lord, buti na lang po, isang, isang malaking blessing that my son was, was uh, is, uh, what do you call this? Yung pong, uh, ano tawag yun? Scholarship niya, na approve. So by next sem, his uh, schooling will be paid. Bayad na po yun lahat. So we, are, we don't have to worry about that. Siguro yung allowance na lang. But I said, God, it's up to you. I am telling you this for you to see that we can trust God. And then I said, Lord, is this your will? So be it. But I prayed. I still prayed to God, and I trusted Him. And the moment that I, uh, I, I give that to the Lord, ang sabi ko sa kanya, Lord, bahala ka na. Bandito kami. We want to serve you. Alam niyo, after uh, Tuesday morning, after I prayed, the phone, the phone rang. And yung pong dati namin ka, ka workmate, she called to me and asking uh, if Teacher Joy can uh, can work in their school. At alam ko sa school na yun, maganda ang offer. Ang offer dun, dun sa, kung kalam niyo po yung Kimmer Star. Kimmer Star. Yan yun, yun, yun po dun si, si, si Sir Joy. And then, when that, uh, si kakasama po, isa po yung Kimmer siya, and then I said, okay, uh, like this, I will call you in the afternoon, but we have to pray first. But here, we are not making the prayer an excuse. We really want to know the will of God. Nangangailangan kami, but we still wanted the will of God to be done. And then we prayed that day until in the afternoon we uh, she called again. I said, "Okay, you just wait. We are going to uh, pray for this." And then, uh, then uh, ganun nga po siya ng afternoon. Okay, can you just come? Uh, the following day, she told us that can you come? I said, "Okay, yes, but you just wait. We have to pray." And then I told Teacher Joy or Sister Joy, "I pray mong mabuti yan, and then I will pray also." And then you know what? Even though we are in need, isipin nyo po, wala ko kaming ano, kung matatanggapin po ni Sister Joy yun, it will be more than enough for our house, it will be more than enough sa kakainin namin, siguro kahit pa paano, magkakaroon pa ko kami ng konting sobra. But you know, we pray to God, and you know what? The will of God is, what is the will of God? Sabi ng Lord, hindi ko kalaoban eh. Paano malaman? Alam nyo yung kapag ka malapit ka at lagi ka nagtitiwala sa Panginoon. 
And we go there to that place and immediately the Holy Spirit spoke. Kahit sa kanya pa, ako hindi ko siya natanong eh. And I'm, I'm not forcing her. Na, Sige, tanggapin mo yan kasi kailangan natin pera, no? I said, God, kumilos ka sa kanya and even in me. And then, ang sabi po ng ano, ang inano po namin, I'm sorry, we, uh, yun kunyari, inano nga po namin that, sorry, we cannot, she cannot, I cannot work this, sabi po ng Teacher Joy. The reason why I'm telling you this is this because like this. Alam niyo kapatid, when are you going to give up to God? Were you going to give up to yourself and give it to the Lord? Hindi po sinasabing, okay, ikaw kasi brother Alex, ikaw kasi preacher Alex, nagpipreach ka na. No, kasi si pastor nagpipreach na yan, yung mga deacons nagpipreach na yan, kaya malalakas. Hindi ho, we are more, we are double, ano, yung, yung, ano, yung responsibility ho namin. But the thing that we need to know in our life, do we really trust God? Here, dito po sa pag-aaralan po natin dito, we will see who we are. Alam niyo kung pag-aaralan niyo po ang book of Galatia, Actually, this is the history that uh, why I am I'm praying to teach this book of Galatia. It is because like this. One time po, I prayed to the Lord and I said, I am going to preach again the Galatian chapter 2 verse 20. And then what I did is like this. I researched Galatians 2 20, basa I mean buong chapter 2, and then, pag binasa yung chapter 2, meron pa siyang kailangan na idugtong, kailangan mo punta yung chapter 1. Until Okay, I need to read all the whole chapter. Hindi po ito pagyayabang, hindi ko na ulang, alam kung ilang beses ko nang binasa ang Book of Galatia. Pero if you are going to ask me, you will see things here. Nandito yung, yung yinanon ni, ni Paul, yung Book of the Law, yung sa circumcision. That, that the Book of Galatia saying that we are justified by faith. That we are being justified of what Christ did in our life. Ito po ang isang bagay na dapat nating makita minsan that we need to see what God is doing in our life. Na minsan, this, this brethren in Galatia, they are ignoring that. Pero kung babasahin po ninyo yung the, the, the text that we have read from verse 1 to 5, the reason why I choose this first five verses of the book of uh, Galatia chapter 1, if you are going to study, if you will go, go it, the whole chapter or the whole book, Verse 1 to verse 5, it's, it's, it's like something like this. It represents that the, from the succeeding verse for the, for the following verse and chapters, this, are, this is the foundation of the whole book. If you're going to study it, verse 1 to 5. Ito yung parang dito, mo, dito makikita ni Paul, ni, sasabihin ni Paul, yung karapatan niya to, to rebuke and to teach the brethren in Galatia. So here, makikita po natin dito. And do you know the reason why Paul wrote Galatia, the, the, the book of Galatian? It is because of those false teachers. And those people that are, being, that are being carried away by the wrong doctrine. And if you're going to read that, go below, be, uh, below five, you will see there. I, sabi ni Paul, tataka naman ako sa inyo, napakadali niyong natangay. In verse 6, it says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into, a, into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Yun ang pinagtasabi ni Paul. Nagtataka ako sa inyo, bakit napakadali nyo yung natangay? So here, Paul is, uh, Paul is, uh, what, i, yun ano po niya kanyang authority rito, yung pong pagkakatawag sa kanya bilang apostol. But here, I just want you to know first, before I continue on my preaching, that Paul writes the Galatian in deep passion and in deep frustration. He is, so, he is so passionate to share the word of truth to the Galatian people. But he is also frustrated on what happened to them, turning from the true gospel into another gospel. Pero ano alam niyo po, tayo po bilang ang mga nampalata, if we will not be aware... Hindi lang ito sinasabi ng mga preacher, hindi lang ito sinasabi ng mga ng pastor natin that we really need to read the word of God. Alam niyo, ito ho kasi yung mahirap minsan sa atin eh. We want to learn the word of God, but we are not willing to read the word of God. How can we learn? In John 14, ang sabi po doon, John 14 says that the Holy Spirit will be the one to remind you of all the things that you have known. Ano ipapaalala ng Holy Spirit kung di natin binabasa ang Bible? And if we will not trust God, He will not move in our life. Pinsan ako kayo, matagal ako na-stuck. Na, na so marami bubukos ngayon. <laughs> but here, 
we will see oh, kung paano ito nangyayari. In Galatia is not a, by the way, Galatia is not a city. Galatia is a region. Malaki po ito, medyo malaki po ito. It is in Asia Minor na kung saan doon po nagpunta si Paul. The churches in Galatia are the one uh, ito po yung probably daw po na the, uh, one of the earliest churches that time. And, uh, and it, the, the book of Galatia was written around AD 49. Okay. After Paul shared the gospel, started a church, uh, Paul shared the gospel in Galatia and he started a church and left them. Then came the Judaizer or the Christian Jew. What did they do? Ito po yung binasa natin ganun sa verse 6 and 7. Okay. What happened to this uh, Judaizer, they are teaching another thing. Alam niyo sa atin, kapag hindi tayo naging aware, they can easily teach you wrong doctrine. Yung po sa binasa natin dito, I just, I just want to mention it, and I am not afraid to say this. In verse 6 and 7, it says, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Verse 7, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert you the gospel of Christ. In the Philippines, there is another gospel that is being preached. Ang sabi nila, the word church in the Bible is wrong. It should be ecclesia. That is another gospel. That is not the gospel of Christ. Dapat makin matutupo tayong tumayo. It doesn't mean di tayo sumasali sa mga pag nag-comment sila, Brother Jong, sila, no, but we need to know that. That is another gospel. Yes, maybe, yes, that person is saved, but yung pong itinuturo niya, mali. I am telling you in front of this pulpit, kasi po, it should be known, that thing is another gospel. And here, makikita po natin how Paul defended his right as an apostle of, apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. Patapos po, dumating yung si Paul, after Paul left the church, I think around from tw after 12 or 14 years, this Judaizer teaches another gospel. At ito po yung mga tinuturo nila. Jesus is not enough. This is what they're saying. Tayo ba? Do you know that Christ is already enough in your life? And there's nothing in this world can satisfy your heart. Pagsamasamahin nyo ang kayamanan ng buong universe. They, you can never, you can never compare them to Christ. You, you make a giant scale. You put all lahat po ng ganda ng mundong ito ng universe on the other, gas, on the other scale dun po sa kabilang timbangan and you put Christ on the other on the other scale yung pong lalagyan hindi po yun aangat Christ will still will be heavier than that there's nothing more beautiful than Christ anything in this world but the problem is this we are not satisfied with Christ if you are satisfied with Christ then you will trust Him and He will be the one to move in your life God can move if you want Him to move in your life. And these things happening in, in, in Galatia. They, they pervert. They restrict Christ to move in their life by believing on the wrong doctrine. Yun po nangyari sa kanila. Saying that this Judaizer saying that Jesus is not enough, they must submit to the Jewish law or the Torah, the five books of Moses or the Pentateuch. But if you are going to go to Acts 15.1, uh, Sir Milka, can you please go there? In Acts 15.1, in order for them to be saved, as I put Acts 15.1, it says here, A certain man which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. Imagine that. Dinatagdagan nila yung kaligtasan. This is what they are teaching. Why? This is the reason why Jesus is a Jew Which we believe that Salvation is from the Jew You must become a Jew You must be circumcised Para daw po yung kaligtasan nila makompleto That is what they are teaching Okay And this is what, one more thing He said that What a Jew does You must do also Sinasabi po nito sa mga Galatians Ito yung, parang ito yung, malintu, ito yung malinturo nila and this is not a message this is not the message of Paul what Paul preached is the gospel that they are already justified by faith through the Lord Jesus Christ and here they want to this, they want here kung pag-aaralan po ninyo yung book of Galatia they want to discredit Paul 
And this, uh, continue po ito. They want to discredit the message. In order to do that, they must discredit the messenger. Sinisirahan nila si Paul. When Paul teaching the truth. Alam nyo, if you're going to read this one, if you're going to read uh, until verse chapter 6, or I think chapter, chapter 5, sabi niya, Am I now your enemy? Because I am telling you the truth. Ngayon, kaaway na nila si Paul kasi sinasabi sa kanila yung katotohanan. Imagine that. But there is also a verse here from I think chapter 5. Ang sabi ni Paul, nung nandyan pa ako, nagkasakit ako, nalagaan nyo ko, tinanggap nyo, you accepted me like Christ and if it is possible, you will give me your eye. Ganun sila ka-close kay Paul dati. And you know what happened? Because of the wrong doctrine, because of the wrong teaching, they were separated from that right doctrine from the Lord. Sa tayo, when are we going to be aware? When are we going to be aware of that sa ating buhay bilang mga mananampalataya? So I hope and I pray makita po natin ito. So here, in verse 11, in verse, in verse 11 and 12, basahin ko lang po sa inyo. Sabi po niya rito, before I continue, 11 and 12 of Paglesia chapter 1, I, cer I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached on me is not after man. For, for I neither received it of man, neither was taught it, but by the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ preached to them through the, through the power of God by the calling of God in His life. So, uh, dapat makita po natin yung bilang mga manampalanaya. Okay. So, tayo po kasi, we, must, we need to be aware. We need to be aware sa lahat po ng mga bagay na ginagawa natin bilang mga man. It is, nakita ko noon na bakit kung pag-aaralan po natin, nakala natin, ganun lang kandali. No. We need to be knowledgeable when it comes to the Word of God. We still study Ako po, I really need to study more. But alam niyo po, na, na, do you remember when Pastor Jesse said, pag, par, anong sikreto para ma, matutunan mo ang Word of God? Lagi mong basahin. Parang sabi niya, para kang nagpupunta sa isang lugar, kapag lagi kang nagpupunta sa isang lugar, magiging familiar yung lugar na yun sa'yo. And you will know, malalaman mo ulit ng skinita, malalaman mo ulit ng tindahan, malalaman mo lang saan ka pwede bumili ng ganito, ng ganon. Magiging familiar sa yun. The same thing with the Bible. When you read the Bible, go back, go back. Ay, ako sasabihin ko sa inyo, hindi ko po alam kung ang best ko nang binalikan ng Galicia. Pero kahit pa paano, kahit marami ko nang best binalikan to, hindi pa rin. Pero at least kahit pa paano, I can, I, can give you, I can give you yung overview nito as, we, as I go there. So I hope and I pray makita po natin ito bilang, bilang mga anak ng Diyos na kung saan magkaroon po tayo ng, ng kahuhawan sa salita ng Diyos. So here, Nung, dito po sa verse 1, punta na po tayo sa ating, ano ngayon, sa ating lesson, sa verse 1. Ang sabi po rito, Paul begins this book with the reaffirmation of his apostolic authority. Why? Because Paul is being questioned. Ngayon, naalala ko. Alam niyo ba, dito po, kung, ayon po, according to what I have read, the reason why uh, Paul is uh, reaffirming, uh, reaffirming his uh, apostolic authority, hindi lang yung may mga taong nagturo ng mali, <clears throat> but it is also because they are making Paul parang second class. Ang sabi niya, ang totoong mga apostol ay nasa Jerusalem. They are in Jerusalem and they are the one teaching the right teaching. But Paul, sabi niya, kulang ang itinuturo niya sa inyo. That is what they are saying to Paul, yung mga mali nagtuturo sa kanila. That's why Paul is reaffirming his apostolic authority. <clears throat> Gusto po makita ninyo bilang mga anak ng Diyos, if you don't know what you have, to, alam niyo po yung, yung stand natin bilang mga man, para, do you really know who you are before God? Or the reason why we cannot fight for it because you do not know who you are before God? Kasi pag hindi mo alam kung sino kasarapan ng Diyos, magiging ano ka eh, tu turete ka eh. And you will not be able to understand what God is telling you. So here in verse 1, Nung po, pinapanag-aaral lang ko sa kagaya po ng sinasabi ko sa inyo before that I have told you na kung maghahanap ka ng foundation ng the book of Galatians from 1 to 6, eto yun. Dito kinuha ni Paul ang lahat ng authority na kanyang sinabi. Dito sa, sa book of so from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dito po niya kinuha yun. In verse 1, <clears throat> kung pag-aaralan po natin to, it says here, Paul, <clears throat> an apostle not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised me from the dead. If you're going to study this verse, there are things that there are a lot of things that we can study here in verse 1. Actually, dito po ako maraming ano, verses. 
And the following succeeding verses, ko konti lang. Pero dito ko po mas medyo concentrate po ng konti rito. If you are going to study here, Paul here is showing an attitude. Pasahin niyo po, verse 1. Paul is saying, at, uh, is uh, showing an attitude here because you, you know why? Frustrated po siya sa mga taga-Galatia. Madali po silang naniwala sa maling turo sa kanila. So Paul here, tingnan niyo po ito, sabi niya, Paul, normally, di ba tayo pag sumusulat tayo, ah, ganito, pag nagre-report ako, Dear Brother Neil and Mr. Edna, ganun din tayo sa pagsumulat, pag sumulat, gumagawa ko ng love letter, Dear Lovely, ganito, di ba? Ganun sila, ganun ginagawa natin. Pero sa panahon po nila, yung pong, yung pong ano, yung sumusulat noon, they, they state their name. That, just like this one, said, Paul, an apostle, Okay, an apostle. So here, as long as I uh, study po this one, I, tr- I tried to study and check for the meaning of Paul's name. Sino po nakakalang dito ang meaning ng pangalan ni Paul? Ang ibig sabihin po ng Paul is like this. Means little, 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 <laughs> little or small. Yun po ang kahulugan ng pangalan ni Paul. His stature is not good kung titingnan po natin kung tayo ang titingin. Eh, huwag niyo mamalitin yung mga ma... Huwag na lang. Huwag niyo po mamalitin yung mga tao kapag nakikita natin sila ganito lang. So, if you're going to look at it, his stature is not good. People look at our... People look at us dun sa mga bagay na nakikita nila sa atin from the outside. But let me share, share to you one thing first. Bago po yan. Uh, Sister Milika, can you please go to... 1 Samuel 16, 6-7 Alam ko, naalala niyo po itong ano na ito, itong uh, verse na ito. Teka, mukhang magulo itong ano ni... <laughs> oh, ando na ba? Okay. Uh, 1 Samuel 16, verse 6 And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. 7 but the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height, or his stature, because I have refused him. Okay, I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. If you are going to look at Paul, napakalit niya, ano bang magagawa ng taong to? Ikaw, anong magagawa mo? Sasabihin sa inyo ng mga tao, what can you do? Ganito ka lang. You did not study. You don't even know how to pronounce the words. Pero kapatid, God doesn't look that way. If you are going to look at Samuel, when he said to Eliab, oh, magano mag- to, matangkad, malaking katawan, malakas. But what did God said? God says, I refused him. Kasi yun ang, ganun tayo magaling eh. Doon sa mga bagay na nakikita po natin eh. And sometimes when we see these people, oh, wala na yan. Wala nang pag-asa yan. Kapatid, God speak into our hearts. God says, I am looking in the, on the heart, not on the outside. And He said, I refuse Eliab. But, his, but uh, sabi, nung dumating si David, sabi niya, what did, God, uh, what did He said uh, to Samuel? Yan, my anointed one, David. See? Paul is a short man. Paul is a small man. But you look at him. He's an apostle of God. I hope you will be encouraged with this. That Paul in his stature, God called him to be an apostle. Alam niyo pong ibig sabihin ng apostle? An apostle po, ito po yung a delegate or ambassador of the gospel. They are the commissioner of Christ. When one more thing, yung mga apostle kasi sabi nila mayroon daw apostle, apostle ngayon. But you know what? One of the, uh, yung kumbaga, classification or yung requirements para sa isang apostle, dapat nakita niyang personal ang Panginoong Isus. For them. That's why those who claim that they are now an apostle, they are a f- false apostle. Pero ito po si Paul ngayon, he is now an apostle of God. In spite of all his stature, di ba ang sabi nila, may problema din si Paul sa mata. Ang sabi, parang ayon sa mga scholars na ang kanyang mga matay parang malalaki, parang medyo luha, parang ganon. 
Pero titingnan mo kung gina... Do you know that Paul wrote the 14 books, almost all, more than half of the New Testament, the 14 Ephesians? Paul wrote that. And he was mightily used by God. In spite of his stature, napakaliit. Siguro kung papantay mo sa akin, mas siguro laki, mal, mas laki ng tanggad ko sa kanya. Pero kapatid, look at this. It says Paul, an apostle. Sabi niya, in spite of all of these things, siya ngayon ay ginagamit ng Diyos. And look at this. One thing that I like in this, one na, gust, na gustong ko po sa verse na to, sabi niya, an apostle, pero not by man. Neither by man. Hindi ako lingkod ng Diyos ng dahil sa inyo o sa mga tao. Look at this. But by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised Him from the dead. Here, if we are going 